Founded in 1905, West End Church of Christ has evolved to be one of the most dynamic and progressive congregations amongst the Christian faith. From its foundings to Minister Hayward, elders and members have been actively improving our community and thus changing the world. West End Church has served as a beckoning light, leading souls to Christ, and recently, we set out on a mission to save souls there by starting our annual fall gospel campaign. So far, we've baptized nearly 300 souls to death. So please, continue to watch for how the West End congregation is building strong members of society and how you too can be a part of that rich history. Hey, come on in so we can look at this auditorium and I can give you a good idea of why God needs to move us to our next facility. Our current auditorium holds 700 people, but as of right now, this auditorium has been outgrown by the size of our congregation. We have approximately 1,100 members, and at a given service, we very easily hit 700 plus people. And so at this point, this sanctuary is too small for the growth of this congregation. The more we grow, we realize the more space that we need. And so this congregation has exceeded the boundaries of what this auditorium can hold. With the amount of things that we do in this congregation administratively, the limitation of this building is that it only has one office. Everybody operates out of the same place. Our secretary, our eldership, the minister, all of us operate out of one location while we have a very vast administrative task. So we really need to have an administrative wing that's able to be comparable to all that we need to do regarding the operations of this very large congregation. At this point, we need to have an expanded audio room that's more functional for what we're trying to create. We're trying to get quality audio production, sermon production, as well as singing productions. And right now, the audio room just does not allow us to accomplish that task because it doesn't have the state-of-the-art equipment that it needs. So we're hoping in our next facility, we can get state-of-the-art equipment for a more expanded audio system so that we can put together great productions that will give us an excellent quality. Right now, our current prep room is a multitask room where we have our communion material as well as the baptismal garments, which are washed in a washing machine in the same location. What we need to do is get a more functional room that allows us to separate out these two functions, where the communion prep can be done in one location while the baptismal garments can be done in a different location. This is our baptismal area where people change to get ready to be baptized. The only difficulty is, is that we only have one, two, three stalls. On a given Sunday, sometimes we have five to 10 baptisms, but we do not have enough space in order for those individuals to get changed quickly and rapidly. So they end up having to wait for some people to change, change their garments, and then of course what ends up happening is we get a line for people who are trying to get Christ on in baptism. So we need a larger room. We need a larger baptismal area so more people can get ready for baptism and they don't have to wait online for this to be their reality. So our nursery is really too small at this point. We have 1,100 members. A good significant number of those members have children. Sometimes we even have to turn people away because we don't have enough space. We don't have any changing tables, and we can't have cribs and other play pens and things that are necessary to make sure that our young kids have a great experience. So we really need to expand the size of our nursery to make sure that it can house all of the kids that we have, and at the same time, give them the equipment that they need so that it can be comfortable and members do not have to worry about their children as they worship God. As it relates to our educational facility, right now we don't have enough classrooms. We do have a fellowship hall that we use as classroom space. In addition to the small classrooms that we do have, they're very dimly lit and right now they don't have the proper equipment to make conducive for a great educational experience. 
So we're hoping in the next facility to have a great banquet hall that holds at least 700 people and larger classroom space with projectors, with screens that are going to make for an excellent educational experience in that new facility. So help us to expand this educational program so it can be a great experience for all who are seeking to further their Christian education. With the current influx of 1,100 people coming in and out of this location, we're finding that our parking is way too small. What's happening is that people are getting so frustrated trying to find a parking space. The lines are way down the block as people are waiting for a parking spot so that they can worship God. This is a classroom in the brick building, excuse me, the brick house. This is where our new converts meet. So you want to know how you can get involved with helping us to reach our goals and build this great facility for God's kingdom agenda. Well, first and foremost, we would like you to come to our Harvest Time concert. $10 and you can come and hear some of the greatest dynamic groups from across the country singing powerful a cappella music. Secondly, on September the 7th, you can be part of our Push Sunday. We're going to be raising a great offering toward this great building program where we want to reach our goal of raising $75,000. Thirdly, we have our Fearless 300 program where you can dedicate for one year to be part of our great offering program where $1,200 can be raised toward our building effort. And lastly, you may be in position to make a great donation to the church, a significant sacrifice. We would love for you to do that and bless us in a major way so that we can hurry up and facilitate getting this new building for God's kingdom agenda. So thank you so much. We're looking to see you get involved and we're going to give God all the glory and we're going to give him all the honor and give God all the praise. We want to continue growing and you can help. If you would like to contribute, there are several ways to get involved. Share the word, share the wealth, and share the work. I'm a West Ender. I'm a West Ender. I'm a West Ender. West Ender. I'm a West Ender. We are West Ender. God will make a way. I know that He.